Okay guys, um, this is my next project. I want to show you how I'm going to do this. Um, this is my Arrowworks Yak 54. I bought this plane used and uh, it flew good. I've flown it uh, about 20 flights this year. Um, it, it flies really good. Uh, it's got a 125 Sato glow engine on it and um, I just want a little more power uh, to I want some unlimited vertical and be able to prop hang this thing so that's the only thing that it wouldn't do um, but it flew great so I found a uh, DLE 30 that I'm going to put on here and I'm going to show you how I go about it um, so I'm going to do a quick video of what to do there okay now I've removed the motor the fuel tank and um, this plane he had uh, some lead on the bottom and to get the CG right but the plane was flying great with with it but um, it's just so much lead so uh, it's just too much um, so I'm gonna try it and hope everything else I won't have to add all that uh, with this new motor and everything else that I've got to add on it um, the Sato 125 says it's 2.2 horsepower and uh, DLE 30 says it's 3.7 so it's going to be a lot more power um, so I'm going to reinforce the uh, cow um, or the or the motor box and the firewall with a little more ply that'll give me a little more weight and plus strengthen it up so the first thing after I pull the motor off I'm going to need to take these blind nuts out because um, when I looked in here my holes are really close on this right hand side so what I do is put the screw back in and just tap this and these are pop right back out because the factory puts these in and once you get just lightly tap it now don't be knocking the firewall out of her and these will come right out <clears throat> all right I was able I've got a CAD and I was able to make this um, uh, pattern here and if anybody needs one I can uh, email me and I'll send you a PDF but uh, when you put this up here I, I measured everything and I put the DLE bolt pattern in it and I've got my crosshairs where I want to match up uh, and I can see that the holes here where we're close and these are even close so what I'm gonna do and plus being more horsepower I've cut this piece of ply this is just floor laminate and it's not quite a quarter but it's close and everything sets to one side because you can see where the center lines are marked they're uh, laser etched uh, arrow works laser etches them in so that wants to stay the same they've already got everything uh, ang angles on your box and what I'm going to do I don't I don't want to put it on the outside because that's going to get the motor out farther the motor is already going to be out about another quarter inch more than what the uh, calls for but I don't think that's going to hurt anything um what i'm going to do is put this on the inside and as you can see on the inside where this piece is close to the side here uh the reinforcement um i'm going to i'm going to be more close over here with my bolt pattern so i've cut this and i've even put an angle on it so when i put this in here that it's up against this side and it's and it's made this pretty rather smooth over here now now when I put my drill my hole and put my bolts in here everything's going to set level so I set this in here and then I'm going to mark this center hole again on this piece of ply here and then that way when I epoxy this in I'm going to fill these holes back in with epoxy sand this down smooth and then when I re-drill my holes, I'll have uh, a, a fresh piece of ply in there to uh, hold my bolts. Okay, I got my firewall glued in the back now. And what I've done is um, 
I put a big nut in here and tighten it up by hand, snip real snug, just to make sure so when the epoxy was dry, I just pull it tight. That's a nice tight fit. Okay, I got my front file firewall in. And since this plane had a lot of lead in it, I'm going to go ahead, I went ahead and cut three more pieces. One for this side, one for the top, and one for the bottom. Then I'm going to glue on the inside, epoxy that in. And I've got that already in. Epoxy them in. I've left this side off because these holes are so close. I want to get the bolts in there first. And then see if I can put another piece on the inside or if I'm going to have to put another piece on the outside. And I went ahead and put fill these holes back up with epoxy and I'm gonna come back and sand this down and get this flush again and then we'll be ready to mount the motor. Okay I got my uh, firewall sanded down and I've got my pattern taped on here for my standoffs where they're gonna be. What I like doing is taking a scratch awl or a metal oil um, and poke right in these lines and it puts just a little bit of indent in there for your bit to start it'd be a little closer before we drill these out okay now I take my drill make sure you're lined up with your firewall the angle the plane is setting on and keep it straight as possible that one up. Lucky I only need to drill this once. And this is a smaller bit right now. I'm drilling a pilot bit. All right, let me change bits and drill them back out. Okay I've drilled out my holes now to the right size and here's a quick tip you can take a bigger bit and just do it by hand and just barely spin this and then a chamfer around the holes just a little bit and then to clean the holes up it's just an easy way to do it and you can also do it on the inside and just make sure everything around where these standoffs are going to be is nice and flush as you can see where I epoxy these old holes and they're really close to this side that's what I was worried about that's why I put the inside in and this deburs that inside hole really nice so now let me go ahead and bolt the standoffs up